Now we're going to learn how to use the door tool. And the door tool is located right up here, just next to the wall. Click on that. All right. And right away, when we come down here into the drawing area, you'll see that our cursor has changed again. So now whenever we're near a wall, go a little closer. Whenever we're near a wall, you'll see this outline of the door that you want to place. And it tends to snap to the side of the wall that your cursor is closest to. So that will allow us to place the door properly. You'll notice, just looking at this model, that there are a number of different styles. As you can see, here are some doubles, here are some singles, and also different sizes of doors. So to account for this, we're going to have to change door type when we're placing these. We're going to place this one here, so we need a double door. So we're going to go over here, we're going to pick a double glass, 48 by 84. And now you can see that that matches up to the underlay that we've got. And we just click once, there's a door, and you can see it over here in 3D view as well. Now you'll notice that when we place a door like that, uh, we also get this little number that's appeared. Now that's called a tag, and it will appear whenever you place a door by default, or a window. You don't really need to worry about that for now, but those tags will be quite helpful later on when you're dealing with larger projects and you have to deal with more organizational type things. That's one door. Now we're going to go down here, and we're going to place the front door. We're going to pick the door tool again. And as you can see, this is not a double door, so we're going to have to pick a different type. So we're going to pick one of these single flush doors, a 30 by 84. Go ahead, click, and let's just place one more. Again, this one's a little bit narrow. So we're going to pick one of the 24 by 84s. Now before we place this one, as I said before, the door will tend to snap to the side of the wall your character is closest to. But you can also change the swing of the door. And that's very easy. You just press the space bar. As you can see, right like just like that. That will change the swing. Then when you click. Now you can change the swing and orientation before you place the door. You can also change it. Just click on the door. And as you can see, it has these two little arrow symbols, just like with walls. Now if you click this one, it's going to change the swing left to right. Click this one, it's going to change the orientation. It'll swing it across the wall. Also, like doors, you can move these by dragging them. You can move a door just like that. And you can also change the location of the door by clicking one of these temporary dimensions and entering in a new value, like so. Okay, let's just put it back. So now we're going to take a look at how to place windows into your model. Before we get started, you may notice that there is a slight problem here. The windows, actually falling within walls, can't be seen because the wall itself is blocking the view of the overlay. So to change that, what we're going to do is we're going to alter our view a little bit. So we're going to actually change this view to be a wireframe. And that, of course, makes the wall see-through, and now we can see the overlay like before. Now we're going to actually place some windows into the wall here, where they're indicated. We're going to look right here, and you can see that there are three windows, and, of course, they are of somewhat different size. Like doors, that means we're going to have to choose some different types. So if we go up here to the window tool, which is right next to doors, and it, right away you can see it looks pretty similar to the door tool. You go down here, and you can see the outline of the window that you're going to place. And, again, it tends to snap to the side of the wall that your cursor is closest to. And like with doors, you go up here and you can see the type of window you're currently looking at. And if we click on this drop down menu, we can pick a different kind, which is actually what we want to do. So I'm going to pick one of these, 44 by 24. Go over here to where it's indicated. And we just click right there. And you can see over in the 3D view, our window has popped into existence. Like with doors, you'll notice that windows also come with these little tags. Again, for now, don't worry about these. But they will be quite useful later on when you're dealing with larger projects and you're concerned with schedules and organization and that sort of thing. For now, we're just going to place a couple more windows. So we're going to go and grab one of these, 24 by 24. And these are the other two windows. So we place one here, and we're going to place our other one right here. And as you can see, they also got their own tags. Now you can see them over here in the 3D view. We've got three windows. Like with doors, walls, and everything else, they also have their own facing arrows right there. Now if you click on that, that will change the orientation of the window. Like with walls, you want this facing arrow to be on the exterior facing so that the trim and the location of the glass relative to the wall will come out correctly. 